Hey guys, so I just wanted to give you some preliminary uh, results so you can see, I guess, like more of the baseline of what we're working with. Um, right now, I've only have two people because I am waiting on the other um, person to get back to me. So at this point, this is uh, Justin Tarman. As you can see here, he's not ranking for anything. Red is not good. Um, not only that, these 21 pluses, that means that he is the, literally the 21st in line. So he's not going to get any kind of calls from that, right? And then uh, let's get out of here. All right, so we go into his. And then you can see, because he's not really listed whatsoever, you see the map views. He's only had 10 views in the past 28 days because of that. And the only reason they might have found them is if they go and I'll show you what people do, is they type in fence company near me. And then what's gonna typically happen is there's only gonna be three, don't know it's scrolling. There's only gonna be typically three or four listings. Typically there's three regular, and then if there's an ad of some sort, then they'll show up here. What's gonna happen though, is if you're not in the top three, typically you're not gonna get calls and um, you'll see why because when everyone does the same thing, I don't care what area you're from, everyone does the same thing. Um, they'll type in fence company near me. Now for Robert Mader with being in Montana, they might put in uh, AG fence near me, something like that. But anyway, it's always gonna be some kind of, um, you know, variation of this, right? So what the people are gonna do is they're gonna call, they're gonna see these top three and unless, you know, if they can't get in touch with someone or if all the reviews actually look, you know, really bad, then they might hit the uh, view all and then they'll go through here and then start searching. So that's why he only had 10 phone calls because of that. Right. Um, so the goal is to get to more of this. Now, this is my own fence company. Um, we're currently working on this, um, but um what we're going to start doing, obviously, green's really good. We're going to start expanding into the other areas. So like my next goal is to go from this number eight, which is in the Sickler Valley area. And then I'm going to start attacking that. So then we can bring this over um, and I can show you the results in the next week or two once we start seeing the improvement there. Um, and then we have Robert Mader. This is right where his um, business is located. So that's why he's showing up at number two or three. Um, but then as soon as you get outside of that little area, then he's not showing up. Now to give you an idea of how big this area is, each spot is approximately six miles away from each other. Okay, so this is a pretty big area because he's in Montana and you know everything's pretty spread out at this point. Um, and then what you'll see here, like these aren't bad. So we're in the number five spots. So these should be pretty easy to take over. Uh, the only problem is um, going into this is this is what people search for in my area. This is only one county, right? So 600 people in one county are searching for a fence company near me a month, every single month. Um, so but for his area, and we can change this to Montana. Now I'm going to do the whole state, right? When we search the entire state, only 800 people. Now he's in Sweetwater? No, still. Oh no, he's in Sweetwater. I think. So you do the same thing. You search it. And then what we're looking like, and you're going to see a drastically drop, is only 20 people a month are searching for fence. Um, fence company near me, it's only 10 people. So this is going to be a little bit harder. And But this is where it's also more important to really get your rankings in there. Because if there's only 10, 20 people a month searching for a fence company in your area, well, you want to be sure that you're the top ones. Because, you know, for me, if I have 600 people, like my chances are better for people to call, even if I'm in a lower position. Um, but this there's a very small likelihood of anyone contacting them because of that, right? So it's going to be more or less the same thing. We're going to look outside these areas and it's like, I'll start zooming in, but it's like, okay, at this point, let's zoom in. And once I get the images and stuff I need, it's like, okay, we're going to start targeting Quebec or Greycliff or something like that. And we're going to hit that as hard as we possibly can. And then once we start seeing the results, again, I'll post that stuff for you. Um, but anyway, uh, if you're interested in something like this, you can kind of just follow along and uh, you can see what the results are. At this point, if you wanted to know further, 
what I'm doing is um, for keyword research tools, you do want to see this kind of stuff. So I use kwfinder.com um, and that helps me out. The other thing that we're going to start doing and the way to start increasing your area where you um, like, so we can start taking over for this repoint, just as an example, is that's we're going to use mostly images for that um, and a few other things, but mostly images. That's what helps a lot. And what we're going to do with that is um, he's I'm waiting for the images to come from him. But once I upload them, we're going to optimize them as much as we possibly can for this surrounding area so we can start overtaking that. So again, we can start with Repoint. The way we're going to do that is we're using a um, program called um, it's geoimgr.com. Uh, and then basically what you're going to do is you're going to upload your photos. OK, and you can do several at a time. Um, I'm just going to do the one for now just because it's not. Um, for this. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're looking for read point. Oops, let's go back into the right spot. Point Montana. Okay. And then what it's going to do is it's going to get the latitude and longitude, right? So at this point, we're going to write these tags. So we're going to do this and we're going to download it. Now, if you're using a program like Company Cam or something like that, or your uh, your photos in general, like you might have your settings set to have the geotags in there. Well, you want to change them because if you are doing a lot of work in certain areas, but you want to expand to other areas, well, you have to change your geotag so that it looks like that you were doing work in that particular area, right? So then once we download that, our work's not done. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into here and this is it right here. OK, so now what we want to do is we want to rename this. OK, so we are going to do in this case, this is an aluminum fence, right? So we would do aluminum dash fence oops, dash installation in dash read dash point dash empty dash, and then I would put the zip code, whatever that happens to be. I don't know what it is. I'm not going to look it up. But anyway, uh, you would do that, right? And this point, we are not done yet. What we want to do now is we want to go to properties. We want to go to details. For um, We want to do a few things. This, I want to should have, to make your life easier, we're going to hit rename, and then we're just going to copy this. And then we're going to go into here. And then what we're going to do is details title. It's going to be the same thing. And actually, typically, I would take out these dashes, put it in the effort of time. I'm not going to. Same thing with the subject. We're going to double click for the rating on this. And the reason for that is if people are typing in for a fence installation, they happen to be located in Readpoint. Well, if they look for the images, well, because you're putting all this information in, it's going to show up in the images. And then, then you can get them to get to your website from there. Um, the tags, this is what you want to fill out as well. So aluminum fence installation, fence company near me. Um, you could do the, the read point, like all that kind of stuff. You would put all that in there and then you would apply it and then you would uh, hit OK. Once you're done that, then you are going to go into your Google My Business listing, which I don't know if I have one open. This is the wrong person. Um, this is for Justin. But if we were in here, I'm not going to upload it. But what we'll do is um, photos, manage photos, hit plus, and then we would upload them. You would upload it, put it in there, right? So now this seems like a really time consuming process, but I'm going to show you a way to um, get around that. So what we're going to do is when you go into here, right? So just say we already put like the geo codes into these, right? What we're going to do is highlight as many as you have, right? And we are going to right click. We are going to rename it. Okay. So we put in all your information, right? Hit enter. Now what you'll see is all of them got renamed and it just puts a one, two, and a three after that. So you don't have to do all this extra work. Like you just do it one time and it does it for you, right? You're going to do the same thing. You're going to highlight all of these. You're going to um, right click. You're going to go to properties and then you're going to go to details. You're going to do the same exact thing. And you would just put in the title, the subject, the tags, and then you would hit, you know, um, okay, we'll do that. And then you just put in whatever the information is, apply it. 
and save it and then do the same thing and upload it. So this is a way that you can do like 50 photos at a time and it'll do it all for you. Um, again, if you have any questions, you can ask away. Um, but I guess at this point, like what kind of results are like we're trying to get from this thing right now for um, Robert Mader in, um, you know, Montana, there's only 10 people a month searching for this thing. So I'm really not sure what we're going to see from there. Um, Justin has uh, quite a bit more from there. It's nowhere near what we are here. Um, but the good thing is the competition doesn't look as strong over there either. So that's the plus side. So you can see there's only a handful. If you look, it's this Dan Neal fence company is literally showing up for everything. Um, and the reason for that is if you go into his stuff, more than likely. Um, oh, the other thing, the reviews. So let's go back into that. So if you look at this, the number of reviews, 81, right? He has more than everyone else by far, and he's going to show up because of that. The reason for this, um, that reviews are so important, is you have to remember that your, uh, or I'm not your, Google's customers are the people that use it for the search engine, right? It's not the people that are paying it. It's not the businesses or anything. Like their customers are people that are using Google to find defense companies. They're there to find whatever they need to find, right? So what they need to do is give them the best experience possible. And the only way they can do that is, or the way to ensure to do that is to give them the best people. So more than likely, if there is two, just say there was two people with 80 some reviews, but Dan Neal had all five stars, but then the other person's rated a 3.3. Well, they're going to show Dan Neal first because more than likely they're going to provide a good experience for that customer. Okay. Um, so that's where you have to do that. Um, what I'm setting up for them is in, um, a review system. So that way they basically send the link out to the customer and then it's going to ask for the review and it does everything automatically for them. Um, basically what will happen is to send it once. If they don't respond to it, then they will get any, um, a reminder in like two days. And then we can also set it up where there's text messages as well. So if they don't do anything within like three days, they'll get a text message and then we can set it up again after two days, they'll do, get another text message. Um, so anyway, if you guys have any questions, please let me know um, and I'll help you the best I uh, can. See you.